ever since we finished our kitchen renovation, I get a lot of comments and questions wondering where we have all of our storage in here in the kitchen, just because a lot of people think our kitchen is small and I've never really thought it was small. Maybe it's just because I was used to having a really small kitchen in our old house. Our old kitchen at the old house was about half the size of this one, so this one seems massive to me and sometimes I would like a bigger kitchen, but at the end of the day, this one does everything that we need and I don't need anything bigger. So today I'm going to walk you guys through our kitchen and our pantry and just show you guys where we store everything and how we make it all work. Just to give you an idea of our kitchen layout, this is as soon as you walk into the door. So this is coming from the dining room and that is actually our back door. And then this is if I'm standing at the back door, what you see. As soon as you walk in, this is what you see, and you'll have to ignore the mud on the floor. It's been raining and I was not about to mop for this video, but this right here is our scrap bucket. So any scraps that we have, we put in there and then we take out the next morning and wash it the morning of and do the cycle over and over. So that is where we keep all of our scraps that need to go out to the animals. Up here, I just keep some aprons on this little hook on the side of this hutch and it just has two aprons. This holds like our grocery bags and then this is a floss water. We don't really have places to hang something like this so this hutch has come in so handy and these hooks are locked. So this is the front of the hutch and like you'll see in this kitchen we have nine foot ceiling so I do like to use all of the storage space up there that I can. So right here is just a crock that has our rolling pins. That is actually a marble pastry board and then in the basket is hot pads stuff that I really don't know where it goes. So there's a kitchen scale in there, a descaling cleaner for our ice maker, and then a cake stand. On the bottom half of this cabinet, as you'll see, we still have not put the glass in. We have it out in the barn. We just need to make the time to actually cut the glass and do it. We are lacking. We need so to get on this shelf. I just keep random canisters and jars of all different sizes. So there's gallon jars, half gallon, all the way down to like jelly jars. So really just any size that we would need. And then there's some extra canisters in there too, in case I need to put something in the fridge or in the, the bottom is where I keep all of my cast iron. And then that thing right there is actually a decorative piece that goes to this hutch, but there was only one. So we just popped that one off and we plan to replace it, but we just haven't had time yet. In this drawer, we have our silverware and we just keep extra knives back there. We don't ever really use them along with just our basic silverware, and then that's Ben's special fork. He likes to eat with it, nobody else. This drawer is where I just keep a lot of the random kitchen tools. So there's an immersion blender, tongs, biscuit cutter, potato masher, pizza cutter, knife sharpener, literally just miscellaneous kitchen tools are in here. In this cabinet on the very bottom here, we have a wooden dough bowl and then two of the like crock bowls and we just stack them inside of each other. On this side, I just keep a white Dutch oven and then these are like vintage like serving platters. We just mostly use them for like bread if we ever serve like garlic bread or something. And then our larger crock bowls. Up here on the top is where I keep all of my seasonings. So most of them have labels. There are like one or two that don't and I need to make labels for them. But this is just such an easy way for me to see the seasonings and know how much I have and when I need to refill. Over here, I just keep my canning books and loose paper recipes that I have that actually need to be written down in my binder so I can put it back in here finally. In this crock next to the hutch is where we keep our dirty rags. So like dirty hand towels or washcloths, whatever. And we just put them in there just so that we don't have to run upstairs a million times a day. We just put them in there and then take them up at the end. After the hutch, we have the pantry. Down here on the bottom, I just keep a coffee pot and a blender. Mouse traps because we thought we had a mouse, but we've never caught one, so we just leave them out. And then these are just down here because they're too tall to fit on the very, very top shelf. 
So, if they could, they would be up there, but they can't fit, so they just stay down here on the bottom. On the floor of the pantry, I have these baskets, and I'll have these linked down below if I can find them. But we just keep our flour and oats, just our extra food that hasn't gone in the glass jars yet. And in the back one, we keep vinegar, oils, and maple syrup, and there is some coffee back there too. On the second shelf is where we keep all of our home canned food. And then we added these baskets. These are so nice. They just clip onto the edge of your shelf and they add so much extra space. So in here, we just keep our parchment paper, wax paper, extra baggies, things like that. We also have one right here and it just has all of our sandwich bags and freezer bags. And then on this shelf, we have some extra seasonings, salt, extra canning salt and some broth, tea, mustard, some more seasonings and tea bags, our toaster, onions, and then like our jar food. Above this, we have more of those racks and these are actually shower caps that I put on my bread bowls. And then these are like pastry boxes in case I bake cookies or something and give to somebody. And then we have some plastic straws that are like smoothie straws. In this one, I just have some extra lard, yeast, and seasoning. In these glass canisters and containers is where we keep all of our food that mice can get into. We try and cycle it through as fast as we can. So down here on the bottom, we try not leave that for more than a week because we know that it will draw mice. And also our flour and products like that are really bad for getting weevils. I've talked about that on here before. So that's why we try and keep everything in canisters and they have to have this like seal. I'm not sure if you can see it, but they have to have that seal so that nothing can get in there and it keeps moisture out. So this is like so you can read the labels on most of these and then that's like some homemade granola, some oils, vanilla, things like that on that turntable, chocolate chips, and then more baking things. On the next shelf up, we have more canned food that we have canned ourselves and then that is another block of lard. We buy our lard from the Amish in bulk and then I'll melt it down and can it. So that's why we have so much. And then up on the very, very top, so it's past the doorway, we have an air fryer, a crock pot, an egg basket and a milking pail, which we'll use the egg basket once we start getting more eggs because it's a really big one. And then the milking pail we'll use whenever we get a milk. And on the back of the pantry door, this is where we keep our broom and dustpan. After the pantry, we have the back door and then it goes to our refrigerator. Of course, we keep our food in the refrigerator, so that's what's in there. And then up here on the top, we store bread in this, extra canning supplies, and then extra canning supplies in that basket as well. with nothing on top of it definitely utilize the space and like I said we just use the canner and the picnic basket but you can use whatever you have next to the refrigerator is of course the sink it pretty much does not matter what time of day it is there's always gonna be clean dishes in this rack I try and keep them put away but it seems like there's always dishes there it's just Part of not having a dishwasher, you just always have dishes on the counter drying. And then we have our Berkey right here and then just soaps and stuff on the back. Under the sink, we do keep quite a bit of stuff. A lot of people wanted me to leave it exposed and with no curtain, but it just did not work for us. We needed the extra storage space and you'll see why. We just had to have space to pretty much hide stuff. But under here, we keep a drink fridge, cleaning supplies in that basket. 
And then we actually had to move our ice maker under here. It wasn't getting enough air on the counter because the upper countertop wasn't tall enough. So we needed to move it under here so it could get more air, but it's working perfect under here so far. Next to the sink, we have this yellow cabinet and it was once a hutch. It sat on top of each other, but we separated it and made it into a countertop and an upper cabinet wondered if this was going to be an issue and it's actually not you can pull out the drawer completely and whenever i'm using my KitchenAid mixer i actually just stand in between it and it works out perfect and then also when i'm getting the cutting boards i have to stand in between it so it works out perfect that there's nothing there that way i can reach what i need to in that back corner without any problems but we'll start with what you can see on the counters already i have my KitchenAid, just a pitcher we just have a towel and then the flour sifter cheese grater scissors our oven mitts and these are actually like meat and bacon presses so all of our bigger items is what is up here on this peg grill and that is mostly just because I don't have room for them and they don't fit in like drawers so it honestly works out perfect that we hung this peg grill this corner right here on the cabinet may look like clutter but it all makes perfect sense in my head it's just all easy to grab so i have my eggs bacon grease butter lard this is butter that i put fresh butter in sometimes this is for oil which there's none in it right now and then these are all of my utensils that i grab like daily Whenever I need them, I just want them quick and easy and then our mixers and whisk. So it may look like a mess, but to me, it just makes life so much easier because I'm not fumbling through the drawers trying to find everything and I'm not having to walk to the pantry or fridge for grease and eggs all the time. Now we'll go through the drawers and like I said, they do open up all the way. This is where we keep our kitchen towels that like they're used to clean up a mess so these are like pretty much really stained and they're not the best ones and then back there those are nails that actually go to this hutch i didn't want to get rid of them so i just put them back there in this drawer these are our paperless paper towels and they're just like a small rag they're super super soft so we use these to like wipe down the countertops with and clean up small messes in this drawer we have our nicer hand towels these just don't have stains i bought them whenever we first got the kitchen and i don't know i just like to kind of keep them nice <laughs> in this drawer again it probably looks like a mess but it makes sense to me these are all of my mason jar lids there are tons in here a sharpie marker because i always need to label my jars with dates and then down there there's fermenting weights fermenting lids and just more mason jar lids so it does look chaotic and really cluttered, but it's better than having to go to the basement or to the dining room every time I need a lid. So this drawer right here is a must to me. And this drawer is where we keep our serving spoons and that is literally the only thing I use in here. The rest of it could honestly go to the Goodwill because I've never used anything else in here. I would probably keep my past server, but Everything else could literally go to the Goodwill or be donated just because we don't use any of that except for the serving spoons. And this drawer, this is probably one of my most used drawers. So this is all of my measuring utensils, pastry cutters, and funnels. Next to this cabinet, I just have a step stool because sometimes I cannot reach the top of the shelves up here. So I have to have a step stool and it just makes sense because it slides right in there and it's out of the way. Now we will go through the bottom cabinets here and on this side up here is just our glass Tupperware and a lot of it's missing because Ben has it at work and then we have glass bowls and then that is my extra KitchenAid bowl. On this side I have these are like condiment cups and then also like condiment bowls. I don't know they have these little lids. They just came with my big mixing bowl set so I kept them. These are really nice because they're eight cups and they actually have lids so it's really nice to mix up a batter if I need to and then I can stick it in the fridge or whatever and then these are the ones that I grab like daily. They're a lot smaller. On the bottom shelf is where I keep all of my stainless steel bowls and then like I said that one is the KitchenAid bowl. On this side is where I keep my stones and then a baking dish. 
on the bottom is where I keep my strainers and my fine mesh strainers. And then these back cabinets may be hard to show, but all the way in the back, I'll see if I can do it. All the way in the back on this side is where we keep all of our like tumbler cups. So like thermoses and just cups that we don't use every single day, but we use if we're leaving the house. And then on down here on the bottom, that is a bread slicer that I have. And then these are like trays and plates that we don't use very often, but Ben likes to just have in case we have like a bigger dinner or something. Now for the top half of the cabinet. On this side, we have our large dinner plates, our small dinner plates, and our smaller bowls, and then our deeper bowls, and also there are some mugs back there, but you can see those more whenever I open the other side. On this shelf, I have, these are actually like the nesting ball jars, but we use them as our nicer drinking cups. And then these are salad bowls that we have, or at least that's what we use them for. On this very top shelf, this is stuff that we almost like never use. So I really, really like this white like Fire King and Pyrex stuff, but I never use it. So these are serving platters for like deviled eggs and then a cake stand, a pie plate and cake pan, and then just like, actually they're like containers or something. I don't know, but I like them. So that's why I have them. But honestly, I can get rid of all of it because I don't use it at all. On this side of the cabinet is where I keep my wet jars and the rubber gaskets for it. These are just mixing bowls and then, as I said, the coffee cups. On the next shelf is just more mixing bowls. Next shelf is more mixing bowls, glass coffee cups, and then just a decorative like bowl, which I could literally get rid of all this stuff on the shelf just because I do not use it either. So a lot of this stuff may be going to the Goodwill after this video. It's making me realize how much I don't use. On the very top shelf are extra mixing bowls. Again, this is like, it's too much China set and I only have plates to it. And a ball pitcher, I know it's kind of hard to see. I shut the door back just because it's a little bit easier to see, but there's a ball pitcher. And then these are like stoneware bowls that I have. So that is everything that is inside the yellow cabinet. And then on the side here, I do have a magnetic strip that holds all of our knives. Now it is onto the stove and we are almost finished. So up here on the back of the stove, I just keep a butter dish, which there's not butter in it right now. Usually there is toothpicks in this container and then salt and pepper shakers. I don't keep anything on the top of my stove. This right here kind of looks like something sitting on it, but it's not, it's just made in there. It's a pot. So some people call it a well pot, some people call it a thrift pot, but it's made in the stove. So it just always looks like that. On this side is my oven. And then a lot of people think it's a double oven, but it's not. This is actually a lot of storage and it's where I store all of my like modern pots and pans that aren't cast iron. And I do love this drawer. It is so helpful. And I honestly do not think we would have enough storage without this stove just because this stove offers so much storage. This is an entire pot and pan set down in here. And these are stacked up on one of those like, I don't, you can kind of see it, the, pa the pan rack. And it is so helpful. It saves so much space. And then that one is like way too big to put on something. So we just stack our pots back there. And then right here, we don't use these. These are the original like pans and pots. To the stove as you can see it just catches food but i need to take those out and clean them i didn't know they were that dirty but that is like a sheet pan and this is a roaster which i never use them just because they're rusted but they're original to the stove so i don't want to get rid of them in this bottom drawer it is another one of my favorites and like i said without this stove i do not think we would have enough storage space in here in the kitchen but this stove helps so much so Back here in the back, I have two of my Pullman loaves, and then I have one right here, which this one I stack my lids for my containers that are in that drawer right there. So that's where the containers are for these. But I just don't like the look of like plastic lids and everything, and it always makes a mess. So I just put them in here, and that way they're like contained in one spot. And then these are more bread pans, a cake pan, and this is where I just keep all my like silicone like pot holders and over here i just have the plastic lids to those measuring cups another cake pan this goes to a casserole dish there's lids to bowls a pizza pan 
a cooling rack, and then I have like three sheet pans that are down there, and a cupcake tin is under that. So this drawer has so much storage, and it honestly holds all of my baking stuff, and then a lot of our plastic stuff that we just don't have anywhere else. And then lastly, we just have our trash can next to the stove. So that is it. That is all the storage and everything in our kitchen. So I think I've covered everything. Not the island, but the island doesn't really have much on it. It's just a thick cutting board, which is, I think it's called like a butcher block. It's really handy just to keep out on the counter and then just a bowl with tomato. But that is going to be it for today's video. So I hope you guys found this video helpful and maybe it helped give you guys some ideas on how to store some things if you have an unfitted kitchen or an untraditional kitchen kind of like we do. But thank you guys so much for watching and I hope you guys will like and subscribe. Mm -hmm.